Alright, welcome back everyone to Blast Process 4. Here we have two locks with Dynamite Head for uh, all Seeker Birds. Um, this is a game I played a lot, and it's a lot of fun, it's awesome, it's really unique. Uh, the speedrun is pretty difficult though, it's actually a pretty hard game. Yeah, and especially um, with this category. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Yeah, most of the time people run people who run this game run any percent because there's a lot less RNG in that run. This one has a lot more. The level of RNG is kind of ramped up significantly. So uh, I'm I'm ready anytime. Is it we about ready to start? Yeah. Uh, take it away. Okay. Timer is going to start when I gain control of Hetty, which will be when he hits the ground. Um, it's about a second from here. So when you see him hit the ground and start. So this first scene is the getaway. Uh, these townsfolk are trying to run away from the super robo collector and they're not going to do a very good job. Fortunately for them, the first secret bonus is to destroy this robo collector. It takes 32 hits, so I'm just going to try and do that. Um, there's not really much danger in losing this secret bonus because you have plenty of time to get all the hits in, uh, but there will be many more to come that actually do have danger and may require me to take a death if I miss it at some point. Um, for the rest of this level, I'm just going to hang out here. That plane is going to shoot at me, but it can't hit me here. Uh, so I'll probably just explain a little bit more of how this run's going to work. Uh, obviously, I'm going to play through it as fast as I can, but there are 39 secret bonus points scattered throughout these levels. Uh, I don't know if you saw the guy in the cape flying around earlier. That guy's name is Bino, and he is involved in... He is the subject, actually, of no less than eight of those 39 secret bonus points. Um, most of the bonus points are, are fixed. They're pretty simple. You know where they are, and you just have to go and get them. Um, for Bino's, five of the eight are pure RNG. You just have to wait for them. And of those five, three can be horrible. Two are, are okay. Um, three of them could just ruin your ruin your day if they take too long to come. Um, that and those and along with two more. So there are a total of five really nasty secret bonus points that hopefully don't uh, have too terrible RNG. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. This is our first of many fights with the Trouble Bruin. I think this is the only time that we actually fight him. What's happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I was too far behind him. I think this is the only time we fight him where we actually see his full body. That We'll see his full body later as he chases us, but we're not actually fighting him at that point. Uh, most of our fights, he's going to be in some kind of contraption. So now that he's down for this first part, we're going to go through the practice area. And in any percent run, you would just walk right through this level and not worry about it at all. But these three rooms right here each has a secret bonus point where you meet one of the people who's going to help you along the way and try to use their abilities to clear some objective. So I'm going to try and do this using these two heads, this war head, um, where the stars just go around and this is probably the fastest way to defeat the enemies here until no no head la or none of these heads last infinitely so we're going to have to switch and in this case I'm taking the vacuum head because this kills these guys the hardest the fastest um, they actually would take four normal hits now we can switch back to this warhead and finish off the rest of them I'm going to move to the left a little bit because the final enemy is on the left so there's just a slim maybe a few frames saved by going closer it's possible it's not it's not even guaranteed but might as well there's no reason not to move left there um, so that's head case he holds a lot of the different heads that I will be using throughout the run that's Hedy's main uh, mechanic that he uses his head and the various heads that he gets as as power-ups and uh, he uses them to defeat the the enemies that we're gonna encounter so that first practice area is one of the things that a speedrunner dreads. Um, it's it's just a fixed. It's basically a fixed time. There's not much 
uh, you can do to save time. This is another speedrunner's nightmare. It's an auto scroller. So we're just going through. Only way to lose this is to die. There's very little to do to speed it up until the very end. So you just kind of have to go through this practice area. It really is just a practice area. <laughs> um, so you'll you'll see three of the worst things that a speedrunner can endure right here at the beginning of the game. But once we're past this, it'll start moving much more quickly. Um, now, for the the Beano secret bonus points and the other two that we're gonna have to wait on, one of them is at the is at the Trouble Bruin. One of his shenanigans, he has to shoot out smaller versions of himself, and we're gonna be waiting for one of those. And um, the other one, I'll, I I guess I'll let you know when we get there. But for each one, if if we end up having to wait like way too long which hopefully won't happen um it might be something that i, I, I just kind of move past but you know we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it in this case you want to get up on the far right edge of that platform because the game ends when you hit the right edge of the screen which obviously is faster if you're closer to the right edge now this is the third speedrunner's nightmare it's just rng you just have to hope um that he doesn't target too many empty shells. At the beginning, all of these shells have the same health. All of these enemies have the same health. He's showing us, this is Bo, by the way, he's showing us the, the enemy's weak points, and he'll be doing that throughout the run. But if he goes too much to the same target in this minigame, then at the end of the run, he's going to start targeting uh, empty shells, and that's just going to waste a little bit of time each time he does it. He also likes to yell target a lot. Apparently he's some kind of brand ambassador. I don't know. Um, so these guys, you can see the timer on the right. It won't be too much longer. But you know, the, it takes you know, roughly 80 to 100 targets. Fortunately, he speeds up a lot by the end of it. He doesn't go as slow as he did at the beginning. So now I've got two empty ones. Hopefully he doesn't target them. Three are empty. Out of seven. So far, he's he has not targeted. Oh, there's not a single empty target. That was awesome. That was perfect RNG. That never happens. I'm really glad it did this time. <laughs> so that's the practice area. And that's our fourth secret bonus point. Now we begin the actual levels of the game. This first one here is called Toys in the Hood. Uh, if you haven't noticed by now, most of these level names are based on movie titles. They're just some kind of play on their names. Uh, here's another secret bonus, knocking the soldier off the tower. And you'll, from now on, you'll start hearing that again. Uh, that voice in the background will say you've got a secret bonus point. You heard it once with the Robo Collector. You didn't hear it with the three practice area ones. But the text will tell you that you got one. Oh, that's not what I want. Um, but from now on, you'll be hearing it again. No. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, there are two more in that cage. One and two. So you heard the chime twice there. Now we'll go up here and get another one by defeating the snake eyes. It's faster to go the bottom route. But this guy, once he shoots, that's when you can hit him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that that head is particularly useful in, in a few of the battles later on. Uh, it freezes time and allows you to just keep... Uh, whacking away. Surprisingly, there aren't very many places where it's used. Actually, I can only think of one other one now that I think about it. This is Mad Dog. So remember those areas uh, I mentioned earlier where we're waiting for... Oh, there's Beano telling us the weak point. Where we're just... Sorry, there's Bo telling us the weak point. Each time Mad Dog goes up, he's going to be bringing back something in his mouth, and that thing may or may not be Beano. 
So we're just gonna have to hope that it... Oh, whoops. Th that was not expected. I just... <laughs> I, I hit him one too many times right there. Uh, that was an accident. I guess that kind of invalidates the, the secret bonus part. See that 7 out of 8. Sorry about that. I was uh, I was kind of focusing on commentating, and I missed the fact that he had one less, well, he had one health left. Um, but you saw him come down with the caterpillar. I would basically just have to wait for him to come down with Bino um, for that to work out. So I guess this is going to be an almost all SVPs run. Uh, usually in a run like this, you would get him down to one health left, and then wait for him to come down with Bino and drop him for you, and then you'd, you'd destroy him to get that secret bonus, and then hit his tail for the last hit. Uh, my mistake, I, I was off by one, and ended up killing him too early. But, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that was going to take too long anyway. There's another secret bonus, killing that smiley, and we're just going to we're gonna move along and show off the other 38 <laughs> secret bonuses for the rest of this thing. Um, these guys are kind of a pain because this level is basically in 3D and these guys like to move up and down in the Z-axis and you just kind of have to move with them. I'm going to grab this just for safety, this extra life. There are going to be plenty of, of extra lives and continues throughout the run, so hopefully I won't need too many of them. Um, so this is the second secret bonus that, I, that I'll that i have to wait for. Uh, there will be a lot of little trouble Bruins that this one shoots out. Uh, it's our second battle. It's our third if you count the floating platform that Mad Dog crushed, which wasn't really a battle against him. But we're waiting for that green thing right there. So we got it. Now all we have to do is, is kill the trouble Bruin. Ah. I'm trying to replenish my head. I missed it there. So that was good RNG. Good, yes, okay. Should be able to reach him now. And finish him off. Take 16 hits. Oh, alright. Better to finish him off when I'm closer to the right side. Um, but, no, that's fine. Doesn't save too much time, but it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, those Z's, if you, I don't know if you saw those, but those will regenerate your health in exchange for a little time, because Hetty will just fall asleep. Um, so I will probably be doing that after this fight. I'll get another secret bonus if I kill the puppeteer. This guy's going to split in half right now. If I kill the puppeteer first... And then the puppet, which is named Gentleman Jim, incidentally. If I kill the puppeteer first, I get a secret bonus. So, you just have to know that. There aren't very many cues in this game for where the secret bonuses are. Some of them are obvious, but a lot of them really live up to the name. <laughs> secret. And you just kind of have to stumble up across many of them. So you heard it. You heard it there, and that one's dead. What is it? So I'm gonna replenish my health a little bit just for safety. All right, this is the third of those five nasty ones, and this is probably the worst one of all because in this one, there's this the cycle for Mad Dog I mentioned was about 14 seconds. The cycle for the Trouble Bruin in the backstage battle, I'm not sure how long it is, I guess it depends on... Uh, no, it doesn't really depend, I guess I never really timed it, but it could be a while in between cycles for the Trouble Bruin. This one, it depends on how quickly you can get through these heads. So it could be like 30 seconds or more, depending on how quickly you get through these costumes. So the first three are always fixed. It's always going to be the dragon, and then the ballerina, and then the robot. That's always the first three. From the fourth one on, that's when the randomness begins, and it could be any of those three or Bino. Uh, this super head is great. It lets you jump higher, run faster, and launch your head farther. This time, I'm going to be very careful not to hit the heart again, because I don't want what happened with Mad Dog to happen again. 
Um, now we're going to get the robot. Like I said, this one's fixed. Uh, where is it? Okay, we're going to get the claw, I think. I think I'm going to get the claw. I don't know. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so now we just wait for him. Wait for him to leave, to come back. Go through his little dance from the right side to the left side and hope that he comes down with Beano. If he doesn't, we just have to beat that costume and and wait for it again. All right, this one's not too bad. Only three parts. Just wait for him to come down. Okay. Like I said, each time that he does this, he could come down with any of one of those three costumes or Beano. So in an all-SVPs run, uh, this can cause the most anxiety, I think. There we go. Very nice RNG. Not first try, but second try. Very good. So we got the secret bonus point. We defeat the wooden dresser. Um, we collect these. If you collect a lot of these, I'm not sure the exact number, but if you heard if you heard the voice just say, you've got another try, that means uh, you begin to continue. So that might come in handy later if I end up having to uh, use up some of my lives to get some secret bonus that I might miss. Hopefully we won't need them though. As you can see, they're four out of four. It got all the secret bonuses in that scene, so still on pace to get 38 out of 39. This is our first, or sorry, our second time meeting Heather. You saw her come in when we defeated Mad Dog. She's after these keys for some reason. Uh, these are these enemies that are defeat when this happens. They're called Key Masters, and we'll find out what the purpose of their keys is uh, later on in Act Seven. Now this, besides any of the boss acts, this might be one of the most technical, um, regular, just traversing stages. And you saw a little bit right there how I, I did some things that weren't intended. I, I hit one of those balloons and then went through a slot that I wasn't supposed to yet. I was supposed to wait for it to come up. But if you go fast enough, you can bypass some of the hits. And we come back, get this bomb, drop it right here and see how much damage we can do to Mon's Meg from the bomb, and then finish her off with this. There are two secret bonuses in this level. Um, one involves a cannonball. You just have to destroy it. There's going to be a cannon, a tank, and you just have to destroy the cannonball. Very simple. There's a, there's a, uh, a strategy to get over that tank without having to defeat it. It's really precise. I'm going to try it once and if I don't get it, I'll just uh I'll just beat it the normal way. Oh, missed him. Okay. So let's see. I need to destroy the cannonball and then damage boost over him. Let's see if I can get this. Come on. Yeah, there he is. We got over him. Uh now we can This is also a precise jump to get up here to Oh, did I say there were two secret bonuses? Sorry, there are three. That was another one, defeating that water spout. There's a third one coming up. Actually, the third one you can get almost at any point in the level. You just have to hit these balloons enough times. We want it to be blue going forward. Uh, I'm just going to wait and do them all at the... right here. Hit it until I hear the... until I hear the chime. The voice. There it is. And then we move forward to Mad Max. Uh, this one, a couple of, well, a bonus here. Um, you just have to avoid this basketball. That can take a lot of time. That's that's for a whole different category. Um, and you just have to break all of the hammer blocks in this act, in this scene. And to do that, we're going to have to get up. So let's go up. Um, you have to break all of the hammer blocks. And we'll need the hammerhead. There are, I think, five of them. And I'm going to go ahead and grab... Or six. Yeah, there's, there are two more up there. I'm going to grab this anyway, just because it's not too far out of the way. There's five. And six. And as you can hear, I got a secret bonus point. So we'll move forward. There are two secret bonus points here. They're exactly the same thing. They're just, uh, there's a fan that you have to kill. And I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way so I can get the hammer. Just so that I can hit this fan and then break this block. 
And then I don't need the hammerhead anymore because it's usually the hammerhead deals double damage, but against these fans for some reason it's you just have to hit it six times each, no matter what head you have. And uh, it doesn't a hit doesn't register. If you're wondering why, like it looks like I've hit it more than six times, but a hit doesn't register unless it's spinning. So that's one. So that's two. Sometimes you don't even see it spin if if you hit it like on the same frame it starts. Um, like right there, I'm sure I got the fourth one, and I just don't know when it was. And that would be the fifth. And got a secret bonus point. Now this is one of the Bino ones where it's not really an issue. It is fixed because you just have to. He comes down and you beat him. No RNG here. So this time there was a Keymaster, but Heather got here first. So we're not even gonna have to talk to Heather here because she got here first. She defeated the Keymaster by herself, and she took the key and left. And you can see the seven out of seven. I got all the secret bonuses for that area. Um, you might wonder why why didn't she do that with all the Keymasters? I don't know. I've also wondered at times what this Keymaster may have been. I don't know if that's actually explained anywhere in the lore. Um, so this is a level. It doesn't really have anything except to possibly uh, let you do a basketball scene if you haven't gotten them all yet. There's This is Stair Wars, and I hope you enjoy the music because you, you're going to listen to the entire loop twice because the secret bonus for this level is to simply wait until the entire music loops twice. And then she'll just say you got a secret bonus point. Doesn't matter how well you're doing in the fight. Doesn't matter how close the Trouble Bruin is to death when it happens. You just have to wait. So he takes eight hits to die. We're going to make sure we count to seven. That was one. Two. You can only hit him once each charge. You can't like hit him on his way back or anything. That's two. So we're going to make sure we count to seven and then stop hitting him until the music loops again. And, um, and we hear the voice tell us that you've got a secret bonus point. Then we wait after that. After all of that waiting, you have to wait again for him to charge, because his charging is random also. That's three. Um, in any percent, this is a really annoying stage, because you, you have to wait for him to charge eight times, and it's completely random how many, like, whether he charges or not. That's four. Um, in all SVPs, it's not too—it's not too bad because you're almost guaranteed that he's going to charge seven times before the the secret bonus. It's almost guaranteed, so you're really just having to wait for that one last one. This is one of the rare instances where it's actually uh, easier or preserves your sanity a little bit more to run the all SVPs. That's five than to run any percent. So, I'm hoping, there's six, hoping to keep this entertaining, <laughs> hoping you're not just sitting there, Hope maybe you're enjoying the music, I don't know. This game has a pretty cool soundtrack, I think. Um, yeah, this, this actually, that's number seven, so now, no matter how many times he charges again, I'm not going to attack him until I hear the voice tell me that I got a secret bonus point. Um, this one is kind of long. Like, if this actually weren't any percent run, it wouldn't be too much faster than <laughs> than an all SVPs split. This would probably cause a reset, I would I would imagine, in any percent. But I don't know. I don't run any percent. Secret bonus, there we go. I was going to say, it's imminent. The music's looping right now, so... Now we just wait for the charge. Very nice. Ah, come here. Very nice. We got the charge right away. So now we go up. Um, next secret bonus is called Towering Internal. Sometimes that happens with the text if you go up too quickly. Um, have to take no damage for a certain amount of time, a certain amount of stories. Once I beat these guys, I will get that secret bonus if I take no damage. So you can see it was kind of risky earlier. Um, there was a, there were like these flamethrowers underneath the hangmans. You had to try to avoid those while not 
wasting too much time. Okay, this should do it. As soon as that ends, got a secret bonus point. So now it doesn't matter if I take damage for the rest of the way. I mean, obviously, I'd rather not, but um, I, I won't lose any secret bonus for it. It was just really important that we don't take damage for that first part. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen should finish him. And I missed one. I miscounted. Well, that's too bad. You just have to wait for him to spin around again. I still could have had it, right? Like, I still had one extra hit that I could have done, but I missed that one too. So, I miscounted and I missed the backup hit. We'd... Not too terrible. Just have to wait for him to roll around again. Oh, get up, get up. Okay, now we go to Spinderella, the next key master. Um, this is another Bino one, uh, but it's on a fixed time. So, he comes in a specific time in the fight every time. You don't have to worry about waiting for him to come out. So this first time, I just keep I just attack as much as I can. I missed one of the hits there, but that's okay. Second time, I'm going to do some damage, but then I have to focus on Bino because he can be pretty wily. And if I don't focus on him, there's a he's kind of fast, so there's a good chance that he could get away. I don't want him to get away, so played that kind of safe, and uh, there's my secret bonus. Now I just get to wail on him, and hopefully I can finish him this cycle and not have to wait for a fourth, but we'll see. Oh, I could have kept going left. <laughs> that was a that was a misstep there. But, oh. Okay, come on. Yeah, that was bad. I, I overstepped a little bit, and so I couldn't hit the battery. Even though it looked like I could, but this boss is like that sometimes. Where are you? Oh, come on. Ah, it, I'm ending up right on that spike, so I can't... It, it seems like his battery just keeps going directly underneath, or directly above that spike, so it's really hard to hit. <laughs> Uh, but it's okay. It should be a lot easier now. Now I'll be able to see it, and hopefully he won't be directly above a spike again. And I'm not small, so I'm <laughs> not supposed to be able to do that. Okay. Alright, all's well. There's also that sound is really satisfying of the Dark Demon saying, I cannot believe it. He says that at the end of each key master, and also um, when you defeat him, he says it one final time. So there's three out of three. So all the secret bonus points in this area. Um, you can't see Hetty. He's right behind the pillar. Huh. Don't usually end it here. But at least now when you're looking for Hetty, at least you know which scene you're on. It's 5-4. <laughs> um, Act 6. Act 6 is great. It's the, the flying act, so we're going to be in the air. All our heads are going to be some kind of aircraft. Um, but first, we're going to wait for Bino. Because one of there's a Bino icon that can appear in this head case. And again, it's random. It could be at any point. And if I accidentally take one of these planes before Bino comes, I have to die so I can start over and get Bino. So we just sit here waiting. It, could, it literally could be any one of these. There's no rule, no rhyme or reason to it. It could be right when you get here, he'll switch to Bino. It could be... There we go. There he is. Um, and now we'll take the plane. You could just sit there for minutes, and he won't show up until until after. So That one wasn't too bad, I don't think. Um, one of these rockets has a secret bonus. It's coming up. It has a dog picture on it right here. So we're going to make sure we kill that one. Um, and actually that's it for secret bonuses, uh, for this scene, right? Yeah, that's it for this scene. We're going to use the biplane against the boss. The, the rocket is actually, usually is hit, it's hits do more damage, so we're going to use the rocket for the rest of the flying areas. But for this guy, it ends up not being too much faster. Um, uh, so we're going to, and the biplane is the only... It's the only vehicle that can actually face both directions. 
both the rocket and the eagle can only attack right, can only face right. Um, and as you can see, if I can only face right, I'd have to be over on that left side, which is much more dangerous than this side. Um, I'm not actually damaging him right now. The damage doesn't start to count until... I believe there's a point where there's like some cloud cover or something where the damage actually starts to count. I think it's around this around this point. Um, but it was important for me to to defeat this the the cannon over here on the right side just so it's one less thing that I have to dodge. Um, now the only thing I have to concern myself with is this flying caterpillar worm over here. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's the only thing I have to look out for instead of looking out for that and a cannon. So it makes things a bit easier to do it this way. Uh, so we should be almost done. We're out of the dark clouds. So there we go. So that's uh, that's flying game. And we're gonna switch to uh oh, uh, we're gonna switch to the rocket as soon as we can. I think. Oh, you know, what? I think it's at the start of the next level, not not the end of this one. Um. This next level is called Fly Hard. See if you can guess what the what the pun is, or what movie they're playing on. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it is the beginning of this level. Okay, so we're gonna have to stay on the left side, as I said. Uh, that's not really that big of a problem, except when he shoots those things right there, because the head doesn't even hurt us. It's really just it's really just those things he shoots. It is possible to defeat this thing. Uh, this wheeler dealer is what it's called uh, in just one cycle like before he goes back into the wall it's incredibly precise and I don't know if uh, I don't think it's uh, possible for a human to get it consistently at least maybe uh, I've never gotten it myself I don't know who's gotten it uh, but it's, I mean it's possible I just know that it it involves taking a lot of damage because you, you literally can't move away from hitting him. You just have to eat all of those hits that I just ate. And, yeah. I guess, the ideally for a human, you just kind of have to hope for one and a half cycles. Or is there one and a quarter? I'm actually not sure if there's a if one and a quarter is possible. But we got one and a half right there. So now he's just going frantic. He's shooting all these things out. And you just have to avoid them until he stops shooting. Um, no secret bonuses here. No secret bonus in the next level. There's one in the level after that, which you get right at the end. Uh, I'll, I'll mention that again. Um, this level's done now. Uh, hopefully I don't take too much damage. There's a banana at the end of Fly Hard 2. Now, if you guessed the movie the last level was based on, you shouldn't have much trouble guessing this one. Uh, so, we're going to keep shooting, because there's no reason not to. And hopefully just avoid all these electric wires and metal enemies that can't be attacked. Or can't be destroyed, at least. And hopefully come out unscathed. Fun fact about the Trouble Bruin that I didn't know until many, many years after I played this game. In fact, I didn't really know it until recently, uh, maybe last year. The Trouble Bruin is not a cat. I always thought it was a cat, but it's actually a bear. I don't know if anybody else was, was thinking that, but I know that I, for the longest time, thought that it was a cat only to find out that based on some text it's it's clear that the trouble brewing is a bear so um, just some information now these guys this part's pretty simple pretty fixed okay we're gonna take a, a really good amount of health into baby face which is good uh, they give you your pick of the lot when it comes to uh, aircraft here you still want to stick with the rocket and here comes baby face the final key master that we need to get past the gatekeeper. Why do we need keys to get past the gatekeeper? It's not for the reason you might think. 
We're not actually going to use them on any kind of door. It's kind of strange. We'll find out when that happens. So this baby is starting to grow up. Reached adolescence. We're going to stand close so that the, the finger stays over there. And we can attack him this whole time here. I'm going to play it a little bit safe. I'm going to go over here so that, again, the finger stays there so I can stay on the left side and keep attacking. Um, and that should be it. It shouldn't come up again if I did this right. It came up again, so I didn't do this right. It's okay. You can see that he's, he's defeated now because he's not moving back. He's just going to wait. And there we go. So he's past adolescence and on into adulthood. Now this one... Uh, the hand doesn't depend on where I am, it just kind of follows this trajectory. And while you're dodging the laser, it's really important that you don't forget about the hand itself, because <coughs> I frequently at that point forget about the hand and end up getting hit by it when it goes up to the left. So uh, it's something you have to, I have to at least consciously consider when I'm facing this guy, because I've gotten hit by that thing way too many times. Uh, but overall, the lasers aren't too hard to avoid. And normally casually that would be the end of babyface because he's going to grow into an old man and he'll grab you and a little cutscene will play and that's the end of it but in order to get the secret bonus you have to defeat this old man as well which literally just means go back and forth don't let the hand hit you uh, until he actually loses all of his health and then guess what we're gonna find inside this grandpa head if you said Beano, you're correct. This is the third Beano situation where you don't wait for him. It's, a, it's just in a fixed position every time. You've got another try. So there's another continue. Uh, so now, you know the drill. <coughs> three out of three secret points. Got all of those. Uh, now we wait for Heather to come and thank us to expressly thank us. And take the key. And now we're about to go to a level called Heady Wonderland where we find out just what are all these keys for. Now we defeated four key masters, or Heady himself defeated four key masters. Heather defeated one by herself before we got there, so we, she's got five keys. Now let's find out what's going to happen with the five keys. Before we do that though there are two secret bonuses we need to get along the way um, and those two secret bonuses are similar in nature one is this cow and one is this bird so now the gatekeeper what do we do with the keys we wait for him to jump and then we throw the keys into his back and that's what damages the gatekeeper don't ask me why they're keys why they had to be keys, why we couldn't just find some rocks and throw them instead, but this is the lore. Also, this guy can jump anywhere from two to five times each time after each hit. It's random. That's great. The more two jumps we find, the better. Um, it's also There's also a chance that Heather could jump to the other side. Uh, you can usually predict it, but sometimes she's finicky, and so there, there was one that you saw there where I actually switch sides because I predicted that Heather was going to jump in that situation and she ended up doing it so that was good. Um, so that actually was really good RNG. I was able to get all five keys right away. Uh, didn't miss any. Didn't uh, have her facing the other way on any of them. But now the gatekeeper turns into the nasty gatekeeper and no amount of keys. Let's get out of here, Bo. Um, no amount of keys is going to help against this guy. We just have to defeat him. Um... And I'll tell you this, after each time we hit his face, he goes berserk and launches his hand five times at us. If we stay close, that attack takes a lot less. There's Bino. Very nice. I was just about to mention that we're also waiting for him to go grab Bino from off the stage. He grabbed him right away, which is really nice for us. And um, as I was saying earlier, he does five attacks. I can, I can be sure to not get hit by it if I launch my head off to the side, uh, among other things. There are a couple of ways to do it, actually. But if the the fastest way to get through that attack is to just stand right next to him and take the hit. Because you take one hit, 
and then the rest of the five hit you while you're in invincible, so it, it doesn't bother you. Um, if you use the head case, like the one that I just threw away, um, there are other ways to do it to to stay invincible, other fast ways. Um, but I missed it. Hopefully he'll get me another one because the other one has a hammer. Um, that first one actually had a bomb in it, which is great, but it's also risky because if you if you hit him with a bomb, this 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 fight goes so much faster. The bomb does a ton of damage, um, but if he gets the hammer, you know it'll just be twice as fast because each hit will do two damage. So let's see if we can get that hammer. There we go. Oh, whoops. come on! I'm a little scared right now. Um, I might not take a hit here, just to... So you can see how it's a little bit slower, but I don't take the damage, so it's worth it. Just one hit left, so I don't need this. Alright, I can take this hit, because I know it's just one hit left. There it is! Uh, great RNG getting Beano early. Wasn't able to use the bomb at all, but... We did get some hits with the hammer, which sped things up a little bit. Um, and there you go. Three out of three secret bonuses. This is the only... Well, besides the getaway, the which is Act Zero, this is the only act where the entire act is just one scene. It's just this heady wonderland. Uh, so now we watch this little cutscene where the Trouble Bruin follows us into the land of the Dark Demon. Um, the rest of this game, we are, we're past the gatekeeper, so we're not chasing key masters or anything. We're just trying to get to the Dark Demon who's been causing all this trouble. Uh, secret bonus here, you gotta get all the 500s. All the 500s, and all the 500s are high up. So we gotta stay big. The, the alternative is to get small to avoid the rockets. Um... And yet, the alternative that we're using is we get hit by a soldier, because a soldier does a lot less damage than a rocket. Unfortunately, no soldiers are around here, and those rockets actually pack a really heavy punch, so we're going to do the... There, see how I hit the soldier and I was able to get through? Here. Don't want to risk it. I think I actually got hit by a rocket earlier, so... We're going to stay up on this wall. This, uh... Okay. So all the 500s and the banana, of course. Um, so that was great. Um, I don't have as much health as I'd like. But I can still kind of do the same thing here. Like, hit, hit this weapon, hit this stand, so that the rocket passes through me on the iframe. Secret bonus right here. Catch a falling soldier. Put it in your pocket. Uh, glitch right here that I messed up for this guy. <laughs> you hit him when he's over a little bit, and then you can just clip right through there. We use that hangman to get past the, the first little section where we'd have to do this, and we'll go forward with this. Uh, we got Taro coming up. Secret bonus. We gotta heal him thrice before we damage him. So let's get... Well, it doesn't have to be before we damage him, but we have to heal him thrice in a row. Um... So there it is, secret bonus. Now we hit the 8, the 4, the 2 as often as we can to do as... Oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay, I'm at, I'm at really low health right now. I'm going to take some of these Zs as a way for him to come back. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. There's no reason to right now. So let's just, <laughs> let's just take the full refill and then finish him off. Now let's get the the spike head. Because we're going to need the spike head to climb these walls. I don't think I've explained the spike head at all before this, but I've used it a couple of times, so hopefully it was self-explanatory. Use the spike head to climb onto walls, and uh, 
Oops. That's okay. Oh, that was that was too early. Gotta wait for him. Should be good. And there's a secret bonus. The rest of those don't shoot tiles uh, will give you a really bad head. I think it's called head trip. Um, let's kill this guy just for no reason at all. Um, okay, secret bonus: kill three of these shots. Um, as I was saying, head trip is something that I haven't faced yet, fortunately. Don't need the second one. Oh, come on. Is uh. It's a really bad head. It's the only negative head in the game that I can think of right now. Um, basically, it renders Hetty really, really slow, really, really heavy, and really vulnerable. You can't launch it. You can't cancel it. You just have to wait it out, and it's uh, it's a big deal. No more secret bonuses in this level. We're going to take some health refill because there's a boss coming up after. The, not not for, like for this boss, I don't really need this, but there's a boss coming after that it's worth it to have full health against. Oh, that was weird. I think I missed the timing on that. So let's try here. Um, this is the least consistent parent. You want to try to hit him with multiple balls at once if possible. And I'm just going to do my best to hit him with as many as I can. If not, it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world, it just takes a little bit longer. And then we want to make sure that the the head, the Dark Demon's head is not laughing, because that's the right side up to go here. Alright, the final nasty secret bonus that we may have to just wait a long time for. This guy, the green one is called Bean Head, the red one is called Money Head. You can see that Beanhead is shooting enemies out of his ear. Any one of those enemies could just randomly be Beano. And we have to wait for him to shoot Beano out of his ear, and then we defeat Beano for that secret bonus. After this, all the secret bonuses are... Well, actually, that's not true. There, there's one that's kind of a pain, um, kind of RNG-related, but it shouldn't be too bad because it happens in a long fight, and... You're, it's highly likely that over the course of that long fight, what you need to happen is going to happen. Uh, so I'll explain that a bit later. Um, but this is kind of another gatekeeper to the run. Uh, it's unfortunate that it happens so late in the run, but it's just one final trial that you just have to endure and hope for good luck on. And also hope that you don't kill uh, the boss before he launches Beano. Which we're still waiting for, by the way. I don't know if you can hear me, but it would be really nice if you launched him right about now. Nothing I can do to speed this process up. Just have to hope for it. So we're just going to keep traversing the level until he launches Beano. Oh, there he is. Okay. So now I, I need to be really careful here. So there's Beano. I got him. But I'm also really low on health, so the good news is he's also really low on health, but uh, let's see if we can finish him off before he finishes me. Oh, okay, this is dangerous. No, we're good. Okay. Okay, this should, this should be it. I'm going to take it safe. All right. Once again, I cannot believe it. Alright. That feels a lot better now. And 6 out of 6. There's all the bonuses for that region. Alright, we're going into the final area now. Uh, there's... The, the first two... There are, there are three scenes in this final act. The first two are auto-scrollers, unfortunately. So all we have to do is kind of endure and enjoy the music, enjoy the scenery, take care of a few secret bonuses, um, and just hope for the best. Just wait it out. So he's going to be attacking us slightly with the, the super finagler down there. 
as you can see, he's not really doing much. So I don't, I, I don't really understand the whole point that he's going for. Oh, by the way, that Coco, that black, that brown statue right there, that was a, <laughs> that was a secret bonus. Uh, there will be another one later. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the the other secret bonus is to make sure that I get all of the blocks in the level. So that's all the regular ones and all the hammer ones. I don't need all these 500s, but it just kind of gives me something to do while I'm waiting for this to scroll. Um, I have to make sure I get all the blocks, which can be a kind of tight window casually, but if you know what you're doing, hopefully... I don't want to say it like that because I jinx myself, because if I don't get it, that means... You all think I don't know what I'm doing, which may be true, I don't know. There are times when I don't know what I'm doing, like in that mad dog fight, for example. Um, so now I've got the hammerhead. This is the last hammerhead, so I need to hit all the all the remaining blocks with just this head. And as you can tell, it's been a while, so there we go. So it's really close. It's you You hit the final two blocks as your head is flashing usually so you kind of uh, you you run really low you, you, you cut it really close in how much time you have with that hammer head the red one you can kill without the hammer but you do need to make sure you get that last hammer while you still have the head because you don't get another chance at it fortunately you heard her say you got a secret bonus so we're okay and now the super finagler has a mind of its own uh, we've got a lot of health, which is good because there's one more secret bonus. There's one secret bonus in the next scene, and that secret bonus is simply to not get caught more than three times. The trouble Bruin is going to chase me as the super finagler attacks me in this scene known as Far Trek. We're going to get a banana here. We're almost full, but now we're completely full, which is good. And I'm going to try to manipulate this Bruin to not be able to grab onto me. It's okay if he gets me up to three times. Like, that's one. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to let him stay on me for a bit and then get him off. So that's one. It can't be more than three. That's the only criterion for getting the secret bonus points. It cannot be more than three. If he gets me three, we're okay. So far, it's one. There will be a point in the level where... It, no, okay, that's two. That's okay, though. That's okay. There will be a point in the level where he can no longer grab me. He'll just be running alongside me. And... Once we get to that point, we'll get the we'll get the secret bonus. So I'm, I'm trying to walk back and forth to manipulate his jump so I can walk under him. <clears throat> trying to be careful. Um, again, okay, so that's three. That's okay. I'm going to hang here for just a little bit longer. And, all right, now I just need to make sure he does not grab me again before we get... There we go. So you heard her say we got the secret bonus point, and you see the, this Bruin, I can hang out with him now, he's not going to grab me. We're past that portion. So yeah, that's, that's it for these secret bonuses. There's one left. I mentioned earlier there was one secret bonus left that wasn't fixed. You, you still have to wait for it. Um, but it, it's highly unlikely that just over the course of this battle, you won't get it. Although, honestly, my health is kind of low, I'm, and I have a lot of lives, I think I'm just going to take a death. I think that's probably the safest thing to do right now. I don't, I don't really trust myself to... <laughs> I don't really trust myself to, to finish this whole thing off. This is a really good pace. It's, it's really unfortunate that I, <laughs> I, I messed up Mad Dog at the beginning. Because this isn't even going to be a legitimate... This won't even be a legitimate run because of that. But, you know, the world record's 59 minutes by Cronoon. Um, but, yeah, obviously he had to wait for Mad Dog. So this guy, he's got different colored orbs. As you can see in his left hand, this one's pink. Pink means these flying things, or, sorry, these pumpkin-looking things are going to come out. They might be flying, they might be hopping. One or the other, we can't tell by the orb color, but it's one of those. Um, so anytime you see pink, you want to pick a head that helps you against this sort of thing. Um, of those four, usually I'd prefer... <laughs> usually I'd prefer uh, the hammerhead, because I can do the most damage against him, but I guess this works. That was an accident. I wasn't even going for the pig head. That just happened when I was attacking him. Uh, but the secret bonus, I should mention it, maybe before it comes, 
Um, the green... I need a green orb in order to get the secret bonus. I need a green orb and the hammerhead. So far, he's been giving me a bunch of pink orbs. But I need him to give me a green orb and the hammerhead. And once that happens, he's going to start shooting rockets up from the ground. And the secret bonus is to destroy all of the rockets with the hammerhead, which is also pretty tight, but with enough practice, it's, you can get consistent at it. I just hope that I have gotten enough practice. So now the orange one does this. It is possible, it's slightly possible, to avoid taking damage when you're big, but it, not in one of those smaller holes. You'd have to hope that one of the bigger holes appears, which, are, which is RNG. In that situation, though... Okay, here are the green rockets. I'm gonna... No! Oh, no, I missed it! Oh, that's annoying. I accidentally got the the warhead. <laughs> While I was attacking him, I got the warhead. That's too bad. So now I have to wait for him to do the green orb again. Uh, and then I'll have to destroy all of those rockets with the hammerhead. But he's really digging these pink orbs right now. <laughs> I also have to watch his health, because I want to make sure that I don't kill him before... I, I, I want to make sure I don't mad dog him. I should have kept the warhead. I was going for the hammer, and that's why I, I got it after. But once the, the warhead hit him, there was no reason to get the hammer. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, just watching this, you might think that he only gives pink orbs. I don't know why that's been happening this whole time, but... Um, we saw the orange one once, we saw the green one once. There's a multicolored one that I'm surprised hasn't shown up yet. And there's a blue one that also hasn't shown up yet. There's the orange. <laughs> oh no! Okay. So this one you have to be small to avoid the damage. I should have hit... Well, no, actually, I'm, I don't even want to hit him again until I get uh, the green one, which is not coming. Come on. Bring it back. No! You gotta be small. It's a multicolored orb. This is gonna happen. Alright, come on now. Give me the green ones. Nope, it's blue. Oh, I went out too quickly. Yeah, it's okay. Come on. Come on, give me the green one. Nope, blue again. I need the green one. Come on. Oh, there's no hammer, so it's not gonna work. Oh. This was a bad idea. He's aiming for the hammer. I mean, the, the warhead. Right, that's fine. Come on. Come on, green. There's no hammer. Okay. I didn't want to hit him, though. This is bad. I mean, he gave me my chance. I can't be too bothered by this, because he did give me a chance that I messed up. But I just need one more, man. Come on. It's blue. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Green. Okay, let's see if I can get this now. Well, for some reason, I shot, I moved my control stick down just a little bit too early. I was trying to shoot the one to the right and then down. I, I can't risk this. So I missed it. Yeah, it, this is one of the hardest uh, SVPs to get, and it's right at the end, in the middle of this boss fight. Which, as you can see, can... Orange, no, I don't want this. I don't want this for orange. That was really close. I almost killed him. 
That would have been really bad. Ah, see, there's no way to save myself here. That's okay. Let's see if we can get the green ones better this time. <laughs> yeah. I would feel a lot worse about... Okay, wow, right off the bat. Come on. All right. Now all I have to do is beat him. Why he chooses to be so generous for one run and not so generous the next, I don't know. Again, I can't complain too much because I did miss two... <laughs> I did miss two uh, two possibilities last time. Should I do it again? Well, thanks. <laughs> okay, you know what? Throw all the pink ones you want now. My health is kind of low, though. I gotta be careful. You can sometimes tell just by the heads you're given what the orb's gonna be. In that case, there was no hammer, there was no war, there was like feather, pig, and the other one, the head trip. So I just, I just kind of guessed that it was gonna be the multicolored one, and uh, turned out to be right. And oh, just for for the timer, um, it's not going to be when I when I defeat him with the last hit. It's going to be uh, when the screen sorry when I lose control of Hetty. So I'll I'll keep walking around after I finish him, uh, just to show that when Hetty stops, that's when the timer stops. Oh yeah, that was perfect. Hit him with the hammerhead and got the small the micro head at the same time. Very nice. Alright, so not too much longer. No, 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 it's orange. Yeesh. Okay, let's at least get a hit in. A really good runner would have been able to switch to... Ah, that's bad. A really good runner would have been able to switch to the hammer, hit him with the hammer, and then switch to the micro after. Apparently I'm not that good yet. Okay, I should be able to finish him off now. This should be the last hit. I don't think I'm going to lose the hammerhead before I can hit him, so I should be okay. Okay, perfect. I'm going to keep walking around. Once Hetty stops, that's time. Time. Uh, that was time. I don't know. If okay, cool. We got it. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. GG. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, a lot of good luck was involved in that run, which is great. Um, well under estimate, but the, the estimate was generous to allow for all kinds of things that could have gone wrong. Um, so this would have been like a five minute PB for me, if. but then again, who knows how long Mad Dog would have taken to bring Beano down, so we can't. I can't even really say that for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, random. yeah. So that's Dynamite Hetty, all SBPs. Um, they don't have a screen to show that I got all three secret bonuses for Act 9. If you want to see that, you're going to have to wait 16 minutes for the, end of the, for the end of this and the cast of characters and the credits to roll. And then you can confirm that I got all three of them. Or I guess you can just watch the VOD and uh, hear the, the voice three times <laughs> if you don't want to wait 16 minutes and watch these credits. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but that's that's what we have to do if we're submitting this. We would have to wait for it all to happen just so we get confirmation with that last screen. I guess for this marathon, we're, we can just move on. I'm not going to make yeah. you guys sit through that. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not all SVP's best ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one, you'd have to wait the 16 and a half minutes just to start the final boss fight. So, yeah, that's yeah. all we're doing now is just uh, beating the Dark Demon. <laughs> yeah. Category, but sorry. Uh, yeah, good, good job. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't complete it, but you know, I was able to show off the rest of it, so I'm happy about that. I'm always happy to see Hetty. <laughs> it's good, good stuff and a good game.
Yeah. Thanks for letting me be a part of this. Yeah, sure. Every time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's awesome to have you. Uh, Alright, well, thanks to Thuox for playing Dynamite Heady. Love this game. <laughs> when I'm not playing it. <laughs> um, uh, next up is going to be Jangle Storm with Garfield Caught in the Axe. We'll be back in just a second. Don't go anywhere. 